amigos, my name is B, and today I'm going to be doing the makeup book tag. So I figured I'd come in after I've done it so you can see what the final product is going to be. I'm actually really happy with my makeup. Um, it's not bad at all. My eyes I'm especially proud of because I did them in like two minutes. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I did the makeup book tag. I really hope you love this video. Okay, so this is my regular face without a ton of makeup on it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get straight onto the question so I don't have to look like this for much longer. <laughs> okay, so question number one is primer. Pick a book that left a lasting impression on you. So for primer, I I don't actually use a primer. I use a Glam Glow face mask. It moisturizes and all of that kind of thing. So that's what I use for primer. Pick a book that made a lasting impression on me. I'm gonna have to say Akamath, A Court of Mist and Fury, just because it's been a year since I read it and I still can't get it out of my brain. I'm in love, pretty much. Um, so yeah, <laughs> Akamath. And I'm not sure if Akamath is gonna be the answer for all of these questions, but I know it's gonna be the answer to most because, you know, I love Akamath. So question number two is foundation, pick a favourite first book in a series. So for foundation I use a sleek uh, life proof foundation, it's a medium to full co coverage, it is sweat proof and oil free which to be fair I don't really need oil free because I have really dry skin but I use the colour LP01 and today I'm just gonna dot on my face where I need. So yeah pick a favourite first book in a series. I'm gonna have to say Vampire Academy just because the first book of that series is just an amazing introduction and I don't think it gets much better from the first book. Like I will, when I reread it, I will do proper full reviews um, on the channel. I just love Vampire Academy. <laughs> it's like it has really great characters. It sets a really great baseline for the story. Um, there's some really nice scenes in it. I mean, the film isn't a great contrast of the book. Like it doesn't show off how amazing the characters are or how tense it can be. But I think it does a it does an okay job of setting the scene. I definitely think they went to teenage drama with it because there's definitely more that could have gone on within the film. I might be a while doing my foundation, so I'm gonna come back when this is done. Okay, so question number three is concealer, and for concealer I use NYX uh, HD Studio Photogenic Studio Concealer Corrector, however you want to say that, and for that one is pick some characters you wish didn't exist. Tamlin. Actually, no, I don't wish Tamlin didn't exist because he's like a key ingredient in why face sand is amazing, so go, go Tamlin for that one reason. Characters that didn't exist. Umbridge, 100% Umbridge. She's the bane of my life and I hate her. It's really hard to choose characters when most of the time if they're evil, they play a really big part in the storyline. Ianthe, I'm gonna have to say Ianthe from Akamath, just because she's such a C-U-N-T and because she plays like no part in the storyline, as far as I'm concerned. She has no part in our baby's lives. So as far as concealer goes, I do under eye, forehead, down my nose and chin, and if I have any extra spots or blemishes, I'll do it on them as well. But as I'm pretty free of spots and blemishes at the moment, I then I just blend with a tiny beauty blender. In Queen of Shadows, there's a place run by really evil men. Um, like this tower and I haven't read it since last year so I'm trying to like remember what happens but um, they're really evil to this one girl and like cripple her and stuff so I wish they didn't exist. Okay so question number four is powder and I use two different types of powder. For my under eye I used the next the NYX HD Finishing Powder. And for the, for the rest of my face I just use this Rimmel London Clear Complexion powder. 
Um, so for powder, it is pick your favorite last book in a series. That is hard, that is really hard. Well, I'm not gonna say Harry Potter because I actually didn't like the last book. I haven't finished that many series that I liked the ending of, oh my God. Um, I didn't like the Lux series ending. I didn't really like Akatar's ending. This is really hard, guys. I'm like trying to figure out what series I've read and then if I liked the ending or not. So I am basically just setting all of my concealer areas with the NYX, with a ti the tiny beauty blender. And then I'm gonna use this huge powder brush for the rest of my face. What series have I even finished? Okay, so I'm actually gonna say the last book in the Vampire Academy series. So it has my favorite first book and it is my favorite last book. So um, I actually really liked the ending of the Vampire Academy just because I feel like it wrapped everything up. From what I feel, it didn't have loads of loopholes. It didn't have crazy ending. We knew what was gonna happen to all of the characters. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say that. So next we have eyebrows. Pick a book you think everyone should read. I'm gonna say Warcross. Um, I absolutely loved Warcross and I have read um, some some comments on my last on my wrap up saying that people like loved or were really wanting to read it but haven't gotten round to it yet and all of this kind of thing so i definitely feel like people should read warcross because it's an amazing all-round like it has action it has a little bit of romance it has some sadness in it it has mystery it's bomb ass like you should definitely go and read it i'm trying to stay in camera but i'm also trying to look at myself in this mirror oh fuck i didn't tell you what i use i'm using a nyx precision brow pencil in the color soft brown i'm not one of those people who does like amazingly great eyebrows like that's completely the wrong shape but i'm gonna go with it <laughs> so yeah warcross is definitely my pick uh if you haven't read it i definitely suggest reading it like as soon as possible because it is pretty sick and if you have read warcross tell me down below if you think that other people should read it as well and also tell me did you guess who um the mystery character was before you were told because i know i did so that is my eyebrows not very well done because they're really rushed because guys i'm on 15 minutes of recording already <laughs> so this is how long it takes me to do my makeup most of that was probably my foundation like now it goes pretty quickly okay so question number six is eyeshadow pick a book with your favorite colors on the cover so i'm not gonna go straight in with eyeshadow i'm going to prime my eyelids because you know that's what i do so i am using the nyx proof it um eyeshadow primer as you can tell i'm a huge fan of nyx so my favorite absolute favorite colors are like blues and like teals and greens and stuff so i'm gonna say for those colors the Lux series. Okay, so now I'm gonna set it with the same powder I used for my face. So pro tip when you're using NYX against Sleek, um, the NYX eyeshadow primer hates Sleek foundation. So don't mix them, it will go badly. So that's my base done for my eyes. Um, I'm now gonna go in with this MUA palette and I'm gonna use a mix of these three colors to make a smoky eye. So my other favorite colors are purples. Um, I'm a huge fan of purple. Um, so I'm gonna have to say the Lunar Chronicles because there's like just so much purple on those covers. I was gonna go for subtle, but my brush picked up too much powder. So now I'm going for big. So I'm gonna do this and I'll be back. <laughs> my 
eyeshadow complete. I'm not a huge fan of like super intricate like makeup, so that's how I do that. So eyeliner, um, I use, where are you? For eyeliner, I use two things. I use this Maybelline shadow pencil. So it has a pen on one end and a smudge on the other end. I just use this to do my waterline. And then I use this Collection Extreme 24 hour felt tip liner to do my wing. So for this question, it's pick a dark and mysterious book. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna say Witch's Pyre. It's a witch book that I read quite a long time ago. It's a trilogy um, by Angelina. I'll have the name down here. It's quite dark. There's quite a lot of like murder and illness and fire and magic and all of that kind of thing. So I'm gonna say that. I'm also going to say Immortal Beloved, just because it's like immortals and magic and a lot of the time it is very mysterious. So apparently I'm going for a really small wing today, even though normally I do like huge wings. There you go, there's one and there's the other one. So my camera is flashing battery at me. So I'm gonna see if I can do the rest of this quickly. Uh, Next we have mascara, pick a long book. And for this one, that is so easy. I'm gonna say Empire of Storms because I didn't finish it. It was, oh, I can't do that. I didn't finish it, it was too long, it was too wordy and yeah. Only way I would ever finish Empire of Storms is if I had nothing else to do. If I had no other books to read, I don't think anyone could make me read Empire of Storms. I'm sorry if this whole video has been out of focus. <laughs> so this is turning into a very dark makeup look. <laughs> okay, so next we've got blush. Pick a book with a cringe-worthy romance. So for blush, I'm using this NYX Baked. Um, I am also quickly going to do bronzer with this matte bronzer by NYX as well. Bronzer doesn't take me long either. So, so a cringeworthy romance. Cringeworthy romance. Um, like a sickly sweet romance, cringeworthy. I'm gonna say uh, Suki Stackhouse and Bill. That's Suki's first relationship in uh, True Blood. I really wasn't a fan of Suki and Bill, just because he obviously took advantage of her and all of that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna say Bill and Suki from True Blood. I'm sorry if any like makeup guru is watching this and cringing. I'm really not in the mood. Ooh, hello. Okay, so next question is highlighter. Pick a book that brightens your day. So for my highlighter, I'm using this Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the color Peach Lights. And I'm literally just gonna finger it on. Um, so a book that brightens my day. To look at, I'd probably say one of the Raven Cycle books because they're all, they have amazing artwork on it. But to actually read, I'd probably say Akamath, specifically chapter 54. Y'all know what I'm saying. Akamath. I told you I'd use Akamath again. I told you. So the next question is lipstick. Your favorite book kiss. Is it too cringy to use Akamath again? <laughs> uh, no. What is my favorite book kiss? Uh, okay, so for my lipstick, I am using, of course, Jeffree Star in colour Androgyny. I'm going to think about it while I do my lipstick. Not bad. I actually did my lipstick okay. I'm going to say the Lux series and I'm going to say, I'm going to say Katie and Damon. Any Katie and Damon kiss is a good kiss. Like the Lux series, any kiss from Katie and Damon in the Lux series is a good kiss. So those are all of the questions. I am gonna add an extra question. For the last step of my makeup, I use a setting powder um, or a set setting spray. So what question can I add that links with setting spray? What is your favorite ongoing series? So a series that is still ongoing, it's not quite finished yet, um, and that you know there are books still to come. Oh God, now I have to think of an answer. 
So for this, I use NYX Matte Finish uh, Setting Spray. And I am gonna say... Three hours later. You know what? I'm gonna say the Shadowhunter Chronicles because that's gonna go on for fucking ever. And we never know when that's gonna die. So I'm gonna say the Shadowhunter Chronicles because I absolutely loved the Infernal Devices. I do love the Mortal Instruments. Um, I have read them before. I'm just struggling to get through the first two because I've read them so many times. I tag whoever wants to do this video. Um, I'm not gonna put any boundaries on who I want to see do this video. If you do this video, comment down below, tell me you've done this tag and I will definitely come and watch it. I absolutely love watching tag videos. So yeah, let me know if you've done or will do this video. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you like this video. I have merged two of my favorite loves, makeup and books. Um, and I really hope you loved it. I know I loved making it. So yeah, if you did then hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there so you don't miss any more of my future videos. All of my social media is also linked down below so make sure you go and follow me there as well. 